Hey, what is going on everybody? This is your favorite tech channel. That's what it's called, but you know, it's also like a subliminal message. Anyway, in this video, I told you guys I'm gonna show you how to save $700 off of a brand new MacBook Pro Retina 15 inch. So without any further ado, this is my checklist on what you need to do to save almost $1,000 off of your next MacBook purchase. Step number one, you need to find yourself like a closet basement geek you know one of those guys who's always aware of the latest and greatest deals and discounts on tech and in my case let's call him Q and Q for some reason takes forever to answer his doorbell I'm sorry. Hey, do you want that hug? Do you want that hug? Anyway, he told me why should you spend $2,500 on a brand new MacBook Pro if you can save $500 right off the bat by getting what they call a Best Buy Geek Squad refurbished item. Now, for those of you watching abroad, Best Buy is the electronics retailer that we have here in the States. And the Geek Squad refurbished item basically is going to be a like new item that probably had some kind of scratch or a defective part, but it's refurbished or made to be like as new condition by one of three ways. First, it could be the Best Buy Geek Squad repair facility who refurbishes the device. Second, it could be a third party refurbishing company. Or third, it could be the actual manufacturer. So in my case, and the store actually told me this, that it's coming from the manufacturer, the item is gonna get refurbished by Apple themselves. So right off the bat, I felt very comfortable and at ease because this product is coming from the place that manufactures them to begin with. So I'm completely okay with that, especially if it's gonna save me $500. That's a lot of money that I don't have. In addition to that, Q also mentioned there's something that's called a mover's coupon. I never knew this existed and a lot of people don't even know it exists, but Best Buy, out of their courtesy and generosity, they extend 10% off anything in the store for anybody who recently moved to the area or relocated. So I know what you're thinking, well, I mean, that's kind of dishonest if you didn't move here or whatever, but in my case, I actually had a couple of people, friends, cousins, and a person who's like an uncle to me who relocated and so that coupon is actually available for them that I could use and <clears throat> just off the record I'm just gonna you know give you guys full disclosure anybody can go and get these coupons you don't actually have to be moving they don't verify it it's kind of like a weird thing like a gray line I'm sure Best Buy knows about this you know they're still making their profit but they're giving 10% off but Anybody can go get this coupon. I just wanted to share that, you know. But anyway, so that's gonna give me another $200 off. So 2,500 to 2,000, and then 10% off of 2,000 is another $200. So I'm sitting at the moment at $1,800, or really $1,799 for the brand new MacBook Pro. That's $700 right off the bat. So what I did, I went to Best Buy, spoke to the local representative over there who's a you know good friend of mine who I always see over there very courteous very very nice at this point he even mentioned you know he made a comment on my cologne said it smelled nice you know compliments are always nice compliment people make sure you compliment somebody today and uh, we located a device that was in the area that I could get within a few days and I went ahead and ordered that and it was supposed to be delivered in a few days and that's when I went ahead and picked it up. In addition to that, I also used some of my Best Buy gift card uh, that I had from before, so I saved another 30 bucks. So the total that I had with the tax was a little bit over $1,900 for a brand new MacBook. So it's not about being cheap, it's about stretching your dollar and especially if you don't have, you know, if you don't have a tree in your backyard growing money all over the place, 
why not save a couple of dollars so you can use it for something else? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did like it, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to see more content. And um, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Oh, by the way, thank you, Herbert, for the cool shirt. I love it. Herbert's a good friend of mine. He gave me this shirt because he knows the car life is what it's all about. Anyway, thanks, guys. See you guys later. Sorry, I'm recording. I, I got it for a very special person.